Venezuela has quietly emerged as a notable power in the realm of unmanned aerial warfare, becoming the first country in Latin America to integrate armed drones into its military arsenal. This transformation is the result of nearly two decades of collaboration with Iran, which has provided technical support, training, and drone kits that allowed Caracas to gradually evolve from reconnaissance-focused UAVs to sophisticated strike-capable systems. The origins of Venezuela's drone program can be traced back to agreements signed under Hugo Chavez, when the country initially sought unmanned aerial vehicles for intelligence gathering but soon recognized the strategic potential of armed UAVs. Early stages of the program were conducted under the cover of civilian and energy agreements, masking the true scope of military cooperation with Iran. By the mid-2000s, Venezuela had begun receiving technical guidance from Iranian personnel, while its own engineers were trained in the operation, assembly, and maintenance of UAV systems. The first Venezuelan-produced drone, assembled locally at Kavim facilities in Maracay, was derived from the Iranian Mohajer II. Known domestically as the Arpia, the UAV was primarily intended for reconnaissance, equipped with high-resolution cameras for both photography and video. By 2010, U.S. satellite imagery confirmed the establishment of Venezuelan drone production facilities, signaling a growing domestic capability. In 2012, Chavez unveiled the Arpia publicly, presenting it as a platform capable of conducting night operations, while quietly continuing efforts to equip it with strike capabilities. Over time, the Arpia platform was upgraded to the ANSU-100, which retained its intelligence-gathering functions while gaining the ability to deploy Iranian-designed came precision guided bombs, providing Venezuela with a UAV capable of anti-personnel and anti-armor operations. A subsequent model, the ANSU-200, was introduced in 2022 as a stealthy flying wing UAV, capable of multi-role missions including air-to-ground strikes, suppression of enemy air defenses, and counter-drone operations. Analysts have noted the ANSU-200's resemblance to advanced Iranian designs, such as the Shahid-171, marking a significant technological leap for the region. Despite these advancements, the Venezuelan program has faced periods of stagnation. By 2013, only about 15 RPA units were operational, primarily deployed for border patrols and monitoring of oil infrastructure. Venezuela's economic collapse between 2014 and 2018 further hindered production, leaving only a single operational unit by 2019. The attempted assassination of Nicolas Maduro using explosive-laden commercial drones in 2019 underscored the need to revive domestic UAV capabilities. In response, the government established Empresa Aeronautica Nacional S.A. in 2020, a subsidiary of Conviasa, to resume drone production and modernization at Maracay with continued Iranian support. Analysts have characterized this effort as part of a broader ironization of Venezuelan military doctrine, emphasizing asymmetric strategies that leverage drones and loitering munitions to compensate for conventional limitations. Since the revival of the program, Venezuela has significantly expanded its drone fleet. In addition to the ANSU-100 and ANSU-200, the country acquired Iranian Mohajer-6 drones, capable of carrying K-missiles, as well as Russian Orlan-10 reconnaissance drones. In 2024, Venezuela introduced the Zamora V-1 loitering munition, modeled on the Iranian Shahid-136, which has been used in conflicts in Ukraine. These systems have proven operationally significant. Venezuelan drones were credited with detecting Operation Gedeon, a failed 2020 incursion by Venezuelan exiles and U.S. veterans, and have conducted surveillance along the Colombian border, where Colombia formally protested an airspace violation by an Orlan-10 in 2021. Beyond border monitoring, drones have been deployed in counter-narcotics operations, maritime surveillance, and coastal patrols, with Venezuelan officials highlighting their use in river Rhine and offshore missions.
The international response to Venezuela's growing drone capabilities has been marked by concern and scrutiny. U.S. and Israeli officials have repeatedly warned that Venezuela could become a hub for Iranian drone production in the Western Hemisphere, potentially facilitating proliferation to criminal networks or non-state actors. Tensions heightened in 2022 when an Amtracer Boeing 747, operated by a mixed Iranian-Venezuelan crew, was detained in Argentina. While Caracas claimed the flight was carrying automotive parts, Israeli sources suggested it may have included drone technology. Reports have alleged that Conviasa aircraft may function as an air bridge for transferring drone components, control systems, and potentially missiles, with suspected routes involving Caracas, Tehran, and Moscow. Although Iran and Venezuela have denied these claims, photographs of missile-capable ANSU-100 drones circulating internationally reinforced concerns regarding technology proliferation. The strategic use of drones has taken on heightened significance in the context of rising U.S. to Venezuela tensions. In August 2025, the United States deployed three guided missile destroyers and 4,000 Marines to the Caribbean, citing counter-narcotics operations, followed by additional ships including the USS Erie and USS Newport News. Venezuela responded by deploying naval assets and emphasizing a significant drone presence along its coasts and inland waterways. Simultaneously, the government sent 15,000 troops to the Colombian border and petitioned the United Nations to demand a halt to U.S. military movements in the region. In parallel, the U.S. doubled its bounty on Nicolas Maduro to $50 million, accusing him of leading the cartel de los Sols drug trafficking network. Venezuela, meanwhile, publicized seizures of narcotics and the dismantling of clandestine shipyards used to construct semi-submersible vessels for drug smuggling. The government also banned all civilian drone operations, highlighting the dual-use nature of UAV technology, restricted for public use but expanded for state security purposes. Venezuelan officials have made clear that drones now play a central role in both operational and political strategy. By combining reconnaissance, precision strike capability, and coastal defense, these UAVs enable Caracas to exert influence along its borders, monitor maritime approaches, and project power asymmetrically despite broader conventional limitations. Analysts note that the growing UAV fleet has become an integral component of Venezuela's defense posture, enhancing surveillance, deterrence, and rapid response capabilities. The integration of loitering munitions and multi-role platforms has also allowed the Venezuelan military to adopt tactics typically seen in more technologically advanced states, signaling a shift in regional military dynamics. The development of Venezuela's armed drone program reflects broader trends in global warfare, where smaller states can leverage unmanned systems to offset conventional disadvantages. By combining foreign assistance with domestic production, Caracas has cultivated a sophisticated UAV capability that serves multiple purposes, deterrence, surveillance, and asymmetric combat operations. The partnership with Iran has not only accelerated technological development but also provided doctrinal insights, influencing how Venezuela conceives its military strategy in a context of economic challenges and geopolitical pressure. These drones now serve as both a practical defense tool and a symbol of strategic independence, demonstrating how a focused UAV program can reshape the military balance in a region historically dominated by conventional forces. As the international community monitors Venezuela's unmanned capabilities, the country's drone program continues to evolve. Expansions in fleet size, adoption of new technologies, and integration of advanced munitions highlight a deliberate effort to strengthen national defense and maintain regional influence. The combination of Iranian expertise, local innovation, and operational deployment has created a uniquely Latin American model of armed UAV integration, offering lessons in asymmetric defense strategy while raising concerns about potential proliferation and destabilization.
With each new advancement, Venezuela underscores the growing significance of drones in modern military planning, signaling that unmanned systems are no longer ancillary assets but central pillars of national security in the 21st century.